and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you are not getting the results you are looking for from your digital marketing efforts, this is the podcast for you. And now, here's the host of our show, the local business guy himself, Frank Deming. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Frank Deming, the local business guy. And welcome to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everyone. I hope you guys are having a rockin', rockin' week thus far. Before I get to today's topic, today's uh, episode, I want you guys to remind you, uh, this is actually the first uh, episode in the month of September. As you know, the month of September will end the third quarter of the year, believe it or not. Um, as always, the third, at, each, at the end of each quarter, we have the special episode with my good friend, Jennifer Flynn. Um, and I want you guys to mark your calendars. That's coming up on September 28th. Eighth, um, we have a great episode in store for you, uh, and if you've been following along, you should be at the point where you are t- definitely doubling, or if not tripling, what your revenue goals were. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That will be a uh, episode. This will be the last episode of this month on the twenty eighth of September. All right. So I, I want to get to today's topic because today's topic is more of a futuristic thing uh, because I see a lot of attorneys, law firms not actually doing this. And I want to reflect on these changes that you can make that will create a huge impact on your law firm. OK, um, because, again, I, I deal with a lot of attorneys and, I, and I'm This year, I've really focused on trying to help attorneys because I see them the most struggling with a lot of this marketing stuff. I mean, a lot of you guys are doing well, but I think I see more mistakes than I see actual wins, if you will. So I'm going to talk about the changes you can make that will create a huge impact on your law firm. Okay, so this is geared towards the firms that are looking for more clients. If you're not looking for more clients, no need to do this. All right. So I just want to set the record straight on that. All right. So here are the things that I want you to try to implement, whether by yourself or if you want to hire a digital marketing agency to help you. I want you to start implementing these things. Okay. So the number one thing that I want you to start implementing is I want you to optimize your website for local searches. Uh, I run into so many websites out there that are totally not optimized for local searches. It's just planned. Uh, So make sure that you do your keyword research uh, and you understand what people in your local area are actually typing that, 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 that relate to your services, you know, obviously, and make sure that you plant those keywords around your, your website. That's what I mean by optimizing your website for local searches. Okay. So I I want you guys to start doing that now. Another thing, number two, I want to, I want you guys to start doing is I want you to focus on creating a customer centric law firm. Okay. By that, by, by here's what I mean by that. You want to, Develop a content rich or say keyword rich, if you will, website that's filled with useful information. Um, and the way you do that, a lot of people say, well, Frank, how you do that? So let me let me give you some tips. A good way of doing that is looking at uh, try to go on forums and see what people are asking about in terms of your niche, whether it be family law uh, whether it be, you know, bankruptcy law, et cetera, et cetera, it doesn't matter, but you find out what people are looking for and write a blog around that answer to answer the question that people are asking, um, you know, around the internet. And they, by, by 
by making it a keyword rich or content rich blog article, people will find it and they have the answer that they were looking for and they will eventually just call you guys and say, hey, can you help us out with this? Um, that's the goal. And that's the way that works. OK. Uh, or a lot of times what people do. And this is also fine is rewrite some of their services pages to be that that content rich uh, post or another way of doing it is create what's called a pillar page. At some point we can discuss pillar pages, but what a pillar page is, is basically it's a one page. It's off your website, a one page. Uh, it's, it's like a huge blog post. Um, now pillar pages, the sweet spot with pillar pages, uh, by the way, has to be, you know, anywhere between 1500 to 3000 words, just, just to give you a, an, an example. Uh, you could write a pillar page that addresses all of the questions that you see mostly, uh, uh, mostly asked throughout the internet about your services. Okay. That's another way around it. If you don't want to do blogs. Um, so anyway, that's, that's number two. Number three, you want to ensure that your website is mobile friendly. I've beaten this thing down <laughs> many times and there's a reason for it because I still find a lot of websites law firms out there that are not mobile friendly. Um, and if you are not mobile friendly, even if you have a great um, SEO with it and people are finding you because they're not, because it's not optimized for mobile. It's, it, it's, it's, it's like you're sending people to a site. They don't want to see, they can't navigate it well on mobile, etc. So Google back in 2018, um, I'm sorry, it was 2017 actually, uh, but 2018 is when they really enforced it. Um, they rolled out what's called mobile first design. Uh, and they, they were asked, actually asking web designers to make sure that when they design a website, it's a mobile first design uh, type of uh, setup. Um, they did that for a reason, because now they're indexing mobile friendly, mobile ready websites a lot quicker than the desktop versions. So and most searches are coming from mobile. So you want to make sure that your website is mobile friendly. If, if, you're, if you're not sure about that, um, you know, contact your, your, your digital marketing agency or, or, your, or your web designer and make sure that it is. Um, if you don't have one of those, you know, just feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you out, of course. Um, so that's number three. Number four is that you want to use targeted ads versus traditional advertising methods. So here's what I mean. A lot of times, although you're on Google AdWords or although you are on, you know, uh, Bing ads or whatever, you're not highly targeted. And when you're not highly targeted, you are wasting money on advertising. Uh, do you get less leads, or less clicks or less calls when you're targeted? Yes, you do. But here's the difference. And I'm going to ask you guys a question and you answer it <laughs> truthfully here. Would you rather have a hundred clicks or a hundred calls to your website that, uh, and, and of those hundred calls, you know, 90 of them are incorrect. Or would you rather have 10 calls to your website and all 10 are correct and accurate? Now, people will say, well, Frank, the, the end result's the same. Uh, yeah, you got 10 calls, you got 10 uh, accurate ones. But in the first scenario, you wasted 90 opportunities where they were incorrect and not to mention the money that you just spent uh, for those calls versus a, a nice compact list of people who have reached out to you who already kind of know you and want to do business with you right off the bat, you know, at a much less cost because it's highly targeted. So you want to use targeted ads versus traditional ads um, because the traditional ads, unfortunately, yes, they get a lot of clicks, they get a lot of views, but it's usually not, um, it's usually not 
uh, the right way. It's, it's definitely, definitely not the right way. Unless you like to spend a lot of money and waste money. Anyway, moving right along. So the last but not less, the number fifth change that you want to consider making and you want to, if you want to create a big impact on your law firm, I know I'm going to get a lot of pushback for it. This is why so I, I, I actually left it last for a reason. But you want to consider both pay-per-click and cost-per-view ads using video. I get a lot of pushback on this, especially from attorneys, because a lot of attorneys don't like... I mean, I see a lot of the people doing commercials. They do their own commercials, and I'm not talking about them. But the, a lot of local... Um, a lot of local attorneys do not like that. Um, they rather do it a hundred percent. Um, you know, they rather do it a hundred percent just with tax ads and all that stuff. Here's why I want you to consider it: that every sing, everything in digital marketing is moving towards a uh, video, um, and video is converting highly. Um, so you know, you can do both pay-per-click and pay-per-view okay with video ads as well so i i really want you to consider that being a talking head talk about your services on your it doesn't even have to be a long video okay you can work with a video um producing uh, a video production company uh, i would suggest do it professionally um i've seen some do it you know off of their iphone and all that and yes you can do that um, and you'll probably get a decent amount, but when it's done professionally, it just, it does, it makes all the difference doing it that way. So I, I would, I would really, um, ask you guys to consider doing it that way. So that's really all I have for you guys, uh, this morning. I really want you guys to take a look at these five things and you'll see a huge impact. And of course, as always, if you guys need any help with this, just reach out to us, 888-416-7752. Uh, or give us an, or send us an email at info at lbmsllc.com. One of our marketing experts uh, will reach out to you, schedule an appointment and help you out, you know, just talking about this uh, and how we can actually implement it for you for uh, for your law firm. So anyway, with that, I'm going to put an end to this episode. Until next week, this has been Frank Deming, the local business guy. Take care and bye for now. Peace out. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Don't forget, any links that were mentioned during the broadcast will be available to you in the show notes, so be sure to grab them while you have the chance. Incidentally, if you have any topics that you would like for us to discuss on the show, be sure to send an email to the email provided in the show notes, or click the Contact Us link and let us know what topic you would like us to help you with, and we'll be sure to add it to our schedule. If you would like for Frank and his team to look at your digital marketing presence and give you a free evaluation, simply click the Request a Free Consultation link in the show notes to get a hold of them. That being said, until our next episode, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.